Hey there, and welcome back to the dungeon. It's Chris with Good Roads, and today we're going to be continue working on our electromechanical skateboard press. And where we left off was we built the super rigid frame so that our jacks, which are going to be our force makers, our force pushers, the things that we're getting our clamping pressure from, uh, have something nice and strong and rigid to push against. So that went really well. I'm super happy with how the work came out. And what we're going to do next is make a series of platforms to rest our molds on and also to distribute the clamping force of the jacks so that we have a nice even pressure throughout our molds. And the way that we're going to do that is by taking a bunch of 2x4s, we're going to work some channels into them so that they line up nicely with all the reinforcement on the jack and we're going to make sure all the bolt holes line up and we're going to clean them up and make them real, look real nice. So that's what we're going to be getting up to in this video. Let's get to it! I need this. If the rumor's true, we'll never see another moon Like what we'll see tonight If skies are clear Children press their heads on windows past their bedtimes Cause they'll probably own a spaceship by the next time there's a sky like this way Not a single constellation We were raised to recognize Can be detected in the haze Cosmic haze with human eyes Think that you've got problems Maybe grateful that you're here The people near the stars we see Have been dead for a billion years Now as they did unto us We raise a glass and laugh We'll join them soon So there you go, staves are all done. This is basically what the press is gonna look like. These are already attached in their final position. 
the sets of staves on the bottom, I have not locked down into place yet, and I'll get into why in a second. But we have, we have what I'm hoping is a really nice method of distribution of force between these spars and these staves, so that when these jacks push up on the molds, they're not just exerting force here, but the force gets transmitted all along these different platforms. So the molds will go in here, the jacks will crank up, and we could actually, if we wanted to manually turn the cranks, we could press a board in this right now. But I have no interest in that, because the next step is adding power. I've got two of these windshield wiper motors. They're supposed to have around 160 foot pounds of torque, which I think is going to be good. I think it's going to work. I still have to figure out what the linkage is going to be between the drive shaft on these and the, um, the cranks on the lifts, on the jacks, because this has got kind of an atypical drive shaft. It'd be really good if I wanted to use a sprocket, but I don't. So I'm just waiting till I've got the engine mounting and the linkage and all of that sorted out to tighten everything down on the bottom half. That's going to be the next video. We're going to try to address the linkage and the power system. I've got a bunch of electronic work to do. I'm going to try not to electrocute myself. That's the last step, and then the press will be done. Very exciting. I'll see you then! So there you have it. Oh, you know what? Let me kill this mosquito first. Where'd he go? I will find him. Oh. Mosquito purge, day three.